Hello folks, my name is Orlando. We are entering an address at 713 East Sahara, apartment number 436. A lovely lady by Janet Anifat, a 93-year-old young lovely lady. 93, with a bunch of roaches. Please follow me. Go. Okay folks, we're inside our apartment now. It's about 6.20, 6.18, around that time. Uh, she doesn't want to be shown on, on the camera because she's afraid of management. I'm not afraid of them, so I'm here this evening. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to take a little bit of pictures, but we're going to come back later on this evening, tonight, when they really, really, really show up. This re reminds me of the Bronx, New York. That's where I'm from originally, but it doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's about this lovely lady who stuck with all these roaches. This whole complex is called the, Sah or the Palms Apartments on East Sahara. It's filled with roaches. Anyway, she should not be here with all those roaches. Follow me. No, because look back. Look, I need to focus. We're getting the focus on the corner right now. Can we get that corner? Let's open up the door a little bit. We're going to go on the bottom right now, folks, a little bit. Are you with me out there, folks? Keep with me, folks. There's not going to be much right now. We're going to be back this evening. But right now we get it clean because we don't want to. We don't want to uh, have too much in here. But you see some on the floor in front of the refrigerator. This is a this is a disgrace. As you can see, it's all in the back door. There's gonna be much more this evening, so please stick with me. We'll see you later on. Okay, folks, I just want you to know that she eats behind the roaches, not that she wants to, but they climb all in the pots and pans. And this evening we'll be catching that. We'll see how many roaches come in the pots and pans. We were here once before cleaning. It took me 10 hours with my friend Lewis to get this place as best we could. We're going to continue. I'm talking to all you people at City Hall. Mr. Goodman, Mr. Ross, Mr. Reese, all you guys. Mr. Tartanian, everybody on the council. If I miss someone, excuse me, I'm sorry. So continue. Let's go this way a little bit. Let's see if we can hit one of these drawers and see what we got here. You can see there's dead. These, see these. If I move stuff around, you see some roaches right there. One going. I'm just, look at these little. Tonight we'll be able to catch more, folks. And over here, now, as you can see on the edge right here, see all the all that rotten stuff. Tonight we'll catch some more, folks. So we're gonna head to another drawer right here in the front of hers. I want to make it clear, it's not her fault, it's this place's fault. I'll start removing some things. Let's see if we can... Look at that. Look at that. When I move the paper. When I move the paper. Look at, oh. look at these roaches. Oh, what are you doing? I'm, 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 damn it, I'm, I'm getting the roaches. Please, damn it. Just... Honey, don't worry. And she's, she's afraid now, folks, but she doesn't have to worry, right? I'm talking to the City Hall. Hopefully, they'll help us, Kevin. See, as I move stuff around, see more roaches. Move the drawer out underneath. See if you find anything. It's ridiculous. Dead roaches. And look at it. All the dead, the babies right here in the corners. I got it. See all of that? Ridiculous, folks. This is a lovely lady who gave her time to America. At 93 years old, whatever she did for a living, this is not the way she should be paid back. And this is just the beginning. Like I said, we'll be back this evening. There's one Ryan running right across the floor there. This one right here in the corner. I'm sorry. Honey. Look at this stuff. I'm going to put it This is ridiculous. Are you dropping your pills on the floor, man? What? Because I got a pill right here. This roaches everywhere. Roaches everywhere. See up underneath? Look. This is nasty. Look at that. It's nasty. There's a roach right there. Janet, yeah. are you dropping your pills? 
Okay, folks, see this love chair she has now? I had to exchange it out. The first time when I brought you pictures, when I brought you folks the pictures, when I first came initially to City Hall, I gave every one of you a copy of the pictures. The old couch had so many roaches in between each crevice that I had to get rid of it. So here she has another one, a little love chair, excuse me. Folks, let's keep going. Once again, folks, here's another drawer that I'm going through. Look at the roaches. Not bouncing all over the floor now. There you go, folks. This isn't how we treat a senior citizen, is it? This is Las Vegas, Nevada, the richest city in the whole United States and the whole world. And we have nothing for a senior citizen at 93 years old. That's ridiculous. Anybody at that age should take any, have everything they need. This complex promised her that they would give her what she needed, and they haven't. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. Look at this. That's Lewis. He helped me the first time. We, we were the ones that helped you. He helped me the first time cleaning. So Lewis knows all about this. My cameraman is Lewis. Look at this. This is ridiculous, folks. This is not a, a way for anybody to live, especially a senior citizen. Look at it. Look at these roaches all over the place. Look at this. Let me lift up some of this paper. Look at it. One crawling across the top there. In between all the, all the, all the paperwork. And, my Lord, have mercy. Look at it. One back inside here. Look at these that are still inside the drawer. Look at this. This is ridiculous, folks. Please, folks, come on. This is not the way to go. Look at this. This is reminds me of the Bronx, New York, when I was a little kid. I know how to eat behind those roaches. It hurt me a lot. I don't even want to start crying, folks. It's not about me. Please help this lady. Please. Okay, folks, we'll be back this evening. Later on tonight, about 11. 10 or 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. I want them all to be here so I can catch all the roaches. Folks, really, this is a lovely lady who should have no reason not to help her. Please, help her. I realize that she's afraid. She doesn't want to show her face once again, folks. She is afraid. I can't blame her. This place doesn't care about senior citizens. There's no way in the world that we should leave this person in here like this. Anyone, especially anyone in 93, as lovely as she is. Please, we'll be back this evening once again. My name is Orlando, not that it matters.